We operate under two main IMO regulations, MEPC 10749 and MEPC 10849. 10749 covers uh, the discharge of um, oily water from engine room spaces via an oily water separator and oil content monitor. 10849 is specific to tankers, crude oil, carriers, products, chemicals, and that's effectively for what they term dirty ballast, which is really um, tank washing, slop water uh, discharge. Now, interestingly enough, there's a huge difference between these two regulations. The 10849 is a fully interlocked, uh, safeguarded system, things like valve feedback, um, recording of that long time date of discharge. You know, it's a properly interlocked system. The 10749 regulation uh, assumes that by adding an oil content monitor to an oily water separator, you have a integrated and interlocked system. That's far from the truth. Uh, there are many ways to, um, to bypass the oily water separator in what's called a magic pipe discharge. Uh, there's probably an average one every two or three months in the, in the press. Uh, and the problem for the, the ship managers is, and operators is the discharge of these wastes is their responsibility. So if they're caught discharging or falsification of the oil record book, uh, or even errors in the oil record book, they stand to face a mandatory $1 million fine, um, plus punitive damages, uh, plus three to four years on probation with a, uh, a uh, court-appointed uh, surveyor. Huge costs. Now, that can all be avoided by locking down the system. And there are a number of these devices on the market. They kind of come under uh, increased assurance. In our case, we've got the, the orb or e-orb, uh, which is essentially a, um, uh, an electronic policeman. Lots of sensors over the entire discharge process, uh, control of our own overboard valve, and that data can also be sent to the cloud or can be sent to an email address of a surveyor uh, or ship's superintendent.